What's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, you guys have probably already read the title of it, but for today, I am going to be showing you guys how I made these super cool Visco inspired friendship bracelets. So if you guys want to see how I made these, stay tuned. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe down below because chances are, if you like this video, you're going to like my other ones too. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to make three different designs of bracelets. So the first one being the easiest is just this spiral design where it has like a little bit of curvature to it. The second one is this rainbow one where it is angled diagonally where you can put multiple colors and it looks so, so cute. And the third one being the most difficult is this sort of like arrow design where it goes like down so i used like three different types of blues so first up let's get into what materials you need to use to create these three designs so first up of course you're going to need some string i have a bunch of strings since i used to make these bracelets when i was a kid you could get these either from a michael's duran fabrics or just any sort of craft store so i have like all these different colors next up you're going to need some scissors i just have like these little Hello Kitty scissors that I used as a kid as well. And then the last thing you're gonna need is some tape. You could use tape if you wanna make the bracelets on a flat surface. I just use my hydro flask, but starting off, it's always nice to use some good scotch tape. So first off, I'm just gonna show you how to start a bracelet with these three colors. You could choose as many colors as you want. My go-to number is three to six because the more colors that you choose, the thicker the band gets. So I just chose lime green, baby pink, and then this turquoise baby blue color. To get the perfect length of bracelets, I usually grab a string, pinch it in my thumb, and then go down to my elbow and do that twice so you have a long enough string. So now that I have the three different colors and six strings, in order to start the bracelet, I usually just take the top part, wrap around my finger, and then pull through the loop, and just tighten that off, where I have this loop on top and then the string hanging on the bottom. So I'm gonna show you guys how to sort of start and make this bracelet. I already did the knot on top and taped it on the desk. So first off, what you're gonna do is take one piece of string from the bunch. I am gonna choose pink and I'm just gonna grab this one piece of string, make a P sort of shape, so or a triangle. So I'm gonna go over all of the other strings, grab the single string again, put it under all of the strings and it sort of makes like a knot on it and then you just pull all the way up so when you do that you have like one little color right here so again to show you guys it's a p over all of the strings grab the single string again go under it pull and then pull up this is a principal way to like make all of your bracelets so as long as you know how to do like the p and then go under, you're good for all of your bracelets. So now that I showed you how to start making these bracelets, let's get into the designs. The easiest one and the one that I'm gonna start out with is this spiral one. So I have six different strings here. I have the magenta color, light pink, and then red. So I already did majority of it, but I just have to finish it off down here. So the next color after red is light pink. So I'm just gonna grab the light pink on the bottom right here. So how I make this bracelet is that I grab the pink, the light pink individually, and I end up making sort of like a, a loop right here where I make a P. And once I have that P shape, I grab the individual string underneath where I have like this knot right here. And I just pull and pull all the way up where it kind of made like a knot on the top. And I just keep doing that until I have lots of pink joined together to have like a defined color. So again, I just grab the string go over the majority of the string. I have like this P. I grab the individual string underneath. I pull it through and then I pull up all the way. As you can tell, it already is starting to get the little like pink sector right there. So I'm just gonna keep doing that until I finish off the bracelet. So 
So now that I've kind of finished off that pink color, I'm going to move on to the magenta color. I'm just gonna pull that apart again, make a P, pull it through, and just keep doing the same thing that I did for the light pink color. So now for the second easiest bracelet, I am going to be doing this diagonal pattern, this rainbow bracelet right here. All three of these bracelets basically follow the same sort of principle where you're making the P or the four shape with the bracelet. Where you do it is actually what depicts how the design's gonna come out. So for this one, I ended up doing rainbow. So it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Here, I ended on purple, so I'm gonna start with the red color. So how you make the diagonal is that you're gonna start off with red and orange since orange is the next color on this bracelet so i'm going to grab the red and then make a p shape pull the red through and just do it to the orange color not the whole bracelet if you do it to the whole bracelet you're going to end up getting this spiral like you did on the first one but just do the orange one and you're going to do that twice so make a p pull it through and then go up on the orange twice. Then you're gonna move on to the yellow color since the yellow one is the next color on this rainbow. And you're gonna use the red one still because you're gonna make the red portion right here. You're gonna make a P on the yellow, pull through and then pull up. And again, you're gonna do that twice. And for this one, you're gonna keep going onto every single color of the string. So I already did orange and yellow. So I'm just gonna continue on to green, blue and purple. So I just finished creating the red portion of the bracelet and as you can see it already has like the red standing out right underneath the purple. So I just did again grabbing the individual color for in this case it's going to be orange. Grabbing the next color of the rainbow which is yellow and again doing a P pulling the orange through and then pulling it all the way up to the top. And for the most difficult bracelet which is this sort of arrow design I am using six strings. I recommend using six strings for this design because the more strings to use the more difficult it becomes so I use three different shades of blue as you can see I use a light blue or sort of medium color and then like this navy blue color so what you're gonna do is that once you start your bracelet you're gonna divide the bracelet into two different sections each section is gonna have each color on it so for this section right here it has the light blue the medium blue and the dark blue and then the same on the next section so since I already started this bracelet the next color in it is gonna be the light baby blue color which happens to be the color color on the edge of the bracelet. That means I'm doing it correctly. So like I said, all of these bracelets kind of follow the same principle. So for this one, I am just going to grab the light blue on the left hand corner and grab the middle color, which is the middle shade of blue and create the four which is the opposite of the P. So I'm gonna go over the middle color and then pull through with the light baby blue and then pull up. Like the last bracelet, you're gonna do this twice for each color. Then once I'm done with the medium color, I'm pushing that to the side and going in with the navy blue. So I use the light blue, go over the dark blue, go under, creating that four sign and then pulling up, doing that again twice. And then once I've gone through two of the colors with the light blue, I am done with the left section. So now I'm gonna start with the right section. Again, starting with the baby blue, I'm gonna grab that one and then grab the middle color shade of blue. So with the light baby blue, I'm gonna go over the medium shade, make a P, pull in and then pull up and then do that again twice. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to grab the navy blue color in the middle, make a P again, pull up, and then do that twice. So now I have the two baby blue colors in the middle. They sort of like transferred over each color and they meet in the middle. So now in order to create that point, I'm gonna grab both of the baby blues and just like knot them together like as if you were tying your shoe and pull up. And again, you're gonna do that twice. So as you can see, I did the little point with the baby blue on the bottom right here. And now we're just gonna move on to the medium blue color. So now that I finished all of my bracelets, I'm going to be showing you on this blue one how I end up finishing my bracelets. So what I do is I grab two of each of the strings because that's gonna give me three different sections. And I end up just braiding the bottom of it because it's easier to tie at the end. So you're just gonna keep on braiding and I recommend doing it pretty tight so that it stays together and it looks nice and clean so I'm just gonna keep braiding and braiding until I reach the bottom of it
Okay, so then after I braid, I end up doing a little knot at the end. And then since I have the knot or the loop at the other end, that's how I finish the bracelets. And they end up looking so cute. They're so much fun to wear. Also guys, one more thing, in case you guys wanna know how I use my Hydro Flask to make my bracelet, I end up using these little loops on the very top. And I just grab the string on top and then push it down to where the buttons are. And it sort of makes like a secure place so that when you pull it here, it's not gonna move around. And it just looks really cute with your hydro flask as well. Okay guys, so that's everything that I have for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I love you guys all so, so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Peace.